Hi guys, it's Elise from Theme Park Insanity and today we are at Chesterton World of Adventures. It's a bit different to see me on the vlogging side because usually I'm the on hiding behind TikTok, but here I am and I'm here to make today's vlog. So we just woke up in the Safari Hotel and had a lovely breakfast um, just downstairs in the Safari Bar and Grill and yeah, we're ready to go check out the park and see what's going on. We'll speak to you more later. So as a guest at a hotel, you get access to an hour early ride time each morning. And as you can see, there's a little list of attractions there on offer for today. So let's go and check out some of these and get some early rides in. Where is it? There he is. So as you can see, a lot of the animals are already awake and exploring with their enclosures. Uh, including a really, really fast armadillo who is, uh, you can see him running around in the background over there. Um, Happily doing that. <laughs> And we've already had a good morning message as well from some of the tropical birds in the enclosure behind us. I can guarantee you they're not going to do it when I ask them to, but... Hello! Nope, yeah. Hello! Nope, they're going to embarrass me now, but they did say hello about five minutes ago. And they're all just going to embarrass me. Not going to say hello? Thinking about it. Oh, there's more of you. Okay, we'll leave you do it. Okay, so we just spent the first part of the morning walking around and seeing different animals in the zoo. Um, quite a selection and they're all incredibly active. We didn't struggle to see anything um, compared to what we've had in some experiences in the past in different zoos and stuff like that. And they all seem incredibly happy, which is always great to see. But for now, we're going to try and head over to Wildwoods and see if we can get on a quick ride on Gruffalo and then some early morning rides over the world of Jumanji just before the park opens up fully to the general public. So, see how we get on. Okay, so we just finished up our early ride time for the hotel guests and we finished off on a great ride on Mandrill Mayhem. Um, I still think this coast is really smooth and we rode it a few months ago and it's still really smooth and we quite enjoy it. It's a lot of fun, especially to see the first time reactions of anyone else who's ridden it. That beginning part can be quite surprising to some people. Um, so the park's now fully open and we're going to go and check out Vampire next, I believe. Obviously, we're not going to talk between every ride, but you'll, we'll catch up every now and then. So we'll see you soon. And what we've got also across the park is preparations for Halloween are now underway with changes happening specifically between Jumanji and the Wildwoods entrance here. So unfortunately it is blocked off so we can't quite get anywhere but can't quite see but there is a little bit of stuff going on over there. And we'll provide more Halloween updates when we can see them. Okay so we haven't quite gotten to Vampire yet, uh, we keep getting distracted by other rides in the area. And Vampire's kind of grown quite a queue now so we're currently seeing what else is in the park and we've made our way over towards Tomb Blaster so I guess the game is on. <laughs> So Tomb Blaster seems to have had a few upgrades since we last went on it. Um, I noticed the inclusion of a Trommel Tunnel this time, which I'm fairly sure wasn't there last time, or if it was, this is the first time I've seen it working, which is really good. Um, again, a lot of really good effects, there's a lot of stuff working that I didn't notice before, some new things, some refreshes. Unfortunately, a lot of the targets still aren't quite working as we'd like them to, so you do spend a lot of time hitting a target that's not giving you any points. But apart from that, it's great ride as always. Um, surprisingly very very wet ride for a miniature dog flume. Obviously the park also has Tiger Rock which is the 
larger log flume in the park, but you actually get a lot more wet on this ride than on that one. Um, definitely what you need for a summer's day, and uh, yeah, surprisingly, uh, surprisingly a soaker. So don't uh, don't judge that tiny uh, drop over there because it is quite wet one. So we couldn't do one without the other, so we're just heading into Tiger Rock. Um, queues are starting to build up now, obviously the temperature's getting higher, so it's good to see the park. It's not that busy, but it's not too quiet either, so looking good so far. So we just finished up at Tiger Rock and we are suitably cooled down now for the rest of the day. Um, sun is shining, there's no clouds in the sky, so it's a really, really good day to be on park. But yeah, we're going to continue looking around and see, see where else we end up. So we've decided to stop for some lunch between our visits and we've come to the Smokehouse Barbecue, um, which is it has a wide range of smoked meats and other available items and here's what we've got. We just finished up eating and it was a really really good meal actually. Um, definitely recommend that one if you're on park. And now we're going to try and do some more rides. The queue times today are pretty respectable and um, yeah it's, it's a good day so far and we're having a great time. Before we end up doing some more rides we've actually decided to have a look around the animals instead. Um, we had a look at some this morning, but we'll try and get back down to some of the ones that we missed and yeah, see what we can see. Chessington is also home to its own sea life aquarium, which has a wide range of fish and other aquatic animals. And as always, displays are being developed all the time, so something new should be coming in this one very soon. Over in the Sea Lion Bay, there's been a few developments. Um, most notably is uh, the arrival of baby Leo, who is somewhere in the pool at the moment. Uh, he was there a minute ago. <laughs> They're all in a very, very playful mood today, um, as you can see. <laughs> They're all showing off a little bit. And there he is. He was uh, trailing at the back behind everybody. <laughs> and now he's talking. So he's a little bit bigger than when we first came early on the year, but as you can see, he's starting to settle in very well. The park also has a range of animal experiences available, including, as you can see here, the uh, fox experiences. Um, all experiences can be booked on the website or at any of the VIP desks across the park and hotels, and they are again eligible for discounts. Okay, so we are finally attempting to tackle Vampire after giving up earlier uh, for other things. One of the longer queues in the park at the moment for 60 minutes, but let's go for it. just came off Vampire and we found some Halloween merchandise. So we've got some beanies, the slipper shirts, and even hoodies. These can all currently be found in the Vampire shop. Wow! Or to use their scientific name, Camelopardalis. Our researchers, our satellites are showing that something is obstructing the room. 
So after a few more rides as well, we've also managed to get on safari. Um, one thing I did notice, and I'm not sure if it's because it was the end of the day or if there's just a genuine change, the experience felt a lot, lot shorter this time. It felt quite rushed to get around the areas and it did feel like things were missing. I mean, in previous times we've seen the rhinos and there was no rhinos in there this time. And the finale in the cave, if you know of it, um, they just completely drove through that and it didn't finale at all. Uh, the, the vehicle didn't even stop in there. So again, not sure if that was because of any maintenance issues or because it was just too late in the day, but just something to be aware of sometimes. We've just completed our last few rides of the day. Um, I finally got to try Croc Drop, which I've been meaning to try for my last three or four visits. Unfortunately, last time it's closed, but this time I finally got to try it and I loved it. And considering I'm not a big fan of drop tower rides, it was actually really quite enjoyable. It's not your traditional sort of drop tower ride where you have a some really fast drops. It's quite controlled, I think, but I really enjoyed it. So I, usually this would be the point where we say, our final thoughts and goodbyes but there's actually a little bit more to it before we do our final wrap-ups and goodbyes so we will be back here in about an hour's time really because we're um, going to be doing the VIP After Hours Park Tour which is the first time it's running today so hopefully it should be pretty good and we'll share our thoughts on that when we get to it so see you soon. Okay so we are now just waiting for our VIP tour of the park to begin and we'll let you know our thoughts and stuff when we get back. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do any filming during the tour, but we'll see what we get. Um, obviously, if we can't, then we can't. And obviously, I won't try and give away too much, but we'll have a conversation when we get back. Then um, they got to send the bigger animals, the ones that were a little bit more difficult to look after. They sent them down to Kenny Zoo, and they kept the easier ones here. So Kenny Zoo Wild Woods. Asked if we'll have cubs, we will not. It was originally called Dragon's River. Okay, so we are back from our behind the scenes tour of the park and we have checked in to our accommodation for our next adventure for tomorrow, which I will get on to more later on this part of the video. But the guided tour, so I absolutely loved it. It was so informative and we learned so many different things about the park, how it operates now, how it used to operate, the history behind it and even the history of the zoo the, before it spread out into the theme park side. And it was it was really good. Um, the team who were there, they all knew what they were doing, knew what they were talking about. I was really impressed by the um, the lady who was doing the tour. She didn't have any notebook in front of her at all. It was uh, it was impressive, especially when they were mentioning so many different numbers and dates. And I would have forgotten very quickly. But it was really, really good. Um, just a bit of an outline as to how the experience works. You meet at the safari hotels VIP experiences section they then will take you to your vehicle for the tour and the tour begins you will be driven around the park able to see it all in its uh, quiet nighttime glory as I'm going to call it um, it's a little bit weird in some places especially when some of the rides are still being shut down for the day and you can hear their soundtrack but see no one and the ride's not moving but it is quite an experience to look at and I would say that that is really quite cool even if it is a bit weird and creepy in some places. Um, what I would say about the experience though is there was a little bit of confusion as to where we were supposed to go to begin the tour just because it wasn't on the tickets or on the web page but again that's a teething issue that will most likely be resolved over time and then when we did ask around to find our way we found a few of the staff didn't really know what was what we were talking about but again it's a new experience so hopefully you know as it progresses then the staff will be made aware and know know what's going on but we did find our way in the end and we did get redirected to the safari vip experience place so that was all good and the team there did actually know what we were talking about so that was even better <laughs> um the other thing that i would say as a it's kind of a weird one it's not a negative criticism but 
the experience left me wanting more. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. So much so that it felt like I could have happily been there for longer, almost. Um, which is quite weird, but... It's, I really enjoyed it to that point where I would literally be there all night exploring and hearing different stories and stuff like that. But one thing that one thing that I was discussing with someone else on the trip was that it might be cool, for example, to get the maintenance and engineering team involved in this sort of thing because they have a bit more of that technical knowledge on these questions. Or even to look at things like more specific tours, walking tours into certain behind the scenes elements and places like that. Um, or even just to include little mementos as well, such as the like a pin battle lanyard, very similar to how Fort Park do their VIP experiences currently. But again, these are all ideas that we would have. But to make this already really good, worth it, brilliant experience, the next step up. But for its very first debut event tonight, we absolutely loved every second of it and would recommend it to anyone. It's a tour that would be suitable for anyone who is new to theme parks and knowledge like that or knows what they're talking about to the enthusiast level. I'd say there's something in that tour for everybody and even if they aren't quite following either of them, the opportunity to see the park after dark is pretty cool. So I would recommend it. Um, the tour that we had, we had a group of six of us in the end. The tour can take eight people at a time. And from what we hear, it's selling out really well. So if you are interested, I would recommend booking in sooner rather than later, just to make sure that you don't miss out on the opportunity. Um, other than that, I can't think of much else. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up our trip for today at Chesington. Hopefully we'll be back again not too long after this video comes out with another video for our Legoland trip, which is actually happening tomorrow, but in video time it's a bit different as you know. Um, but we are hopefully going to be there for our second visit this season. Um, should be pretty good. We're hoping to get on Viking River Splash before it closes, unfortunately, for this month when it does close. But we'll be back again with that vlog soon. So thanks so much for watching this video. And uh, if you've gotten this far with me talking, congratulations. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.